Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you for the time. Today I will explain about my journal. What the title? The average, the average of omega three oil is a host modulation therapy in periodontal tissue regeneration, and this is a literature review. Riskesda study in 2018 said that the national prevalence of dental and oral health problems reached 57.8 percent. Gautam et al. in 2019 also said that periodontal disease is the 11 most common disease in the world, and one of the periodontal disease that I will explain today is about periodontitis. Periodontitis is a public dental health problem with a prevalence of around 10 until 15 percent of the adult population, where 25 percent of them show mild or advanced symptoms. In the early stage of periodontitis, the gingiva has localized inflammation. This is the features. If the healthy gingiva get the infection of bacteria, it can stimulate and it can stimulates the media, uh, mediators of inflammation, and can make a periodontitis. If we have a good treatment for peri for this periodontitis, it can help for uh, the regeneration of periodontal tissue. But excessive damage to normal tissue can stimulate a prolonged inflammatory reaction and can have systemic consequences. In addition, if the inflammatory reaction continues, the wound healing process will not run well. So a good prevention is needed so that it can suppress the process of further damage. Prevention can be attempted by controlling the infection by giving antibiotic or debridement process. And also we could regulate the, regulate the excessive inflammation response by host modulation therapy, uh, especially omega-3. Based on this description, this literature will discuss the benefits of omega-3 as a host modulation therapy to regulate inflammatory mediators in the process of periodontal tissue regeneration. This is the slide about classification and mechanism of action of omega-3. Uh, this is we know that omega-3 is from uh, double bonds that occur in the 3 and 4 carbon omega atoms. And this is consisting of EPA, DHA, and ALA. And this is the pictures about the uh, omega atoms. This is the double bonds. Uh, we can see the ALA, it's from 18 carbon and 3 double bonds. EPA from two car 20 carbon and 5 double bonds. And DHA, 22 carbon and 6 double bonds. And the function of omega-3 is to help the process of forming anti-inflammatory molecules known as resolvents and protectins. And we can get the omega-3 in the fish oil. Host modulation therapy is a form of therapy by modulating the host response to the inflammatory process. Uh, there are several types of host modulation therapy like first the using of antibacterial drugs the use of prebiotics anti-cytokine therapy and the addition of pro-resolution mediators such as dietary omega-3 intake uh, this is a uh, intervention so in host modulation therapy there are many intervention that we can use as a host modulation therapy but uh, from this journal i just explained about three there are probiotic uh, with omega-3, uh, the anti-cytokine therapy with omega-3, and then the mediator pro-resolution, uh, like a dietary intake of omega-3. Regeneration is the process of growing new tissue structures through the growth and differentiation of new cells and intercellular substance. In periodontal tissue, the epithelium of the gingiva is replaced by epithelium, while the connective tissue and periodontal ligaments are replaced by connective tissue, which is the precursor to both. This is the table about uh, any research about the host modulation therapy, and like the category of probiotic, uh, Iwasaki et al. in 
2016 uh, have the result of of their research that daily use of HKL-137 uh, can decrease the periodontal pocket depth in patients undergoing periodontal sport therapy. And for anti-citokine therapy, Hai Yen Chang uh, in 2018 that uh, have a result of the research that the DHA can induce repair of inflammation by facilitating everocytosis through polarization of M2 macrophages. And for uh, pro-resolution mediators, in Maria et al. 2020 said that uh, giving a diet of omega-3 buva fats to hypercholesterolemic rats with periodontal disease can improve alveolar bone repair. The relationship between probiotics as host modulation therapy is the increase or increase in barrier function and T regulatory cell activity and can inhibit the pro inflammatory response. Iwasaki et al. in 2016 said there had been a significant reduction in pocket depth in the test group using probiotics from heat killed lactobacillus 137 compared to the control group. Morales et al. in 2018 also said that the use of probiotics can provide better tissue repair in the final stage compared to the initial state of use. Anticytokine therapy agent involves the use of monoclonal in the process of neutralizing antibody or receptor antagonist to inhibit the action of pro-inflammatory cytokine. Kaori L. et al. in 2015 said that it is known that the use of omega-3 or DHA can reduce EL6 production, but not, not TNF-alpha mRNA expression in macrophages, so further research is still needed regarding the exact effects of omega use. The relationship between omega-3 and this oil as a host modulation therapy to the healing process of periodontitis wounds has been associated with the main function of DHA, EPA, and AA in omega-3. Hai Yun Cheng et al. in 2018 said that the relationship between DHA and peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma which resulted in the conclusion that DHA can reduce EL6 production, but non-TNF-alpha mRNA expression in macrophage. Eleonora et al. in 2017 uh, said that the relationship between omega-3 to the wound healing process in periodontal disease, where omega-3 can help the reaction of anti-inflammatory agents in the wound healing process. And the conclusion is omega-3 therapy can be used as an alternative therapy by making it an agent that helps increase the effects of prebiotics, inhibit the production of pro-inflammatory agents, and prevents the occurrence of resorption of alveolar bone. Okay, thank you for the time. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate hesitate to contact me at my email and thank you very much for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh